So good morning. Good morning. What are we going to demonstrate today? Today we're just going to do a little quick sushi. Sushi rolls, yes. reverse. Yes. Sushi rolls. Yes. And those we are. are and those are going to be what? Vegetable sushi rolls. Yes, because this is the way you taught me and I like this recipe. I I love this recipe. I think it works. I think um it's very tasty. I mean, everybody at Open House loved it. I mean, they ate it right up. Super easy to make, mm -hmm. and kids love it too. Yes. Did you see? <laughs> did you see him snorking it down the other day? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, what's the deal with uh, sushi rolls? We can put anything in it, really, Absolutely right? Absolutely anything. But today, we're just going to demonstrate the technique and a basic vegetable reverse sushi roll. Yep. And that means that the rice is from the outside. Now I took your advice and I cut all my, my nori into sheets, right? Yep. And because they come, they when they sell them, they usually come in um, in squares. Yeah, so, like that. Right. And right. We cut them in the middle. Yep. And that's all we need. Yep. Let's let's cut the the cucumber in the size of the nori, right. so the strips are exactly the size of the roll. All right. So we'll go like that. Exactly. We'll go like this. We'll just take a little bit of this off. Although I don't, this does not bother me. The green on this cute kind of cucumber doesn't bother me. I kind of like the color. Yeah, it doesn't bother me either. Usually I just um, do stripes when I... Yeah. yeah, yeah, when I'm putting it in my salad or whatever, yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay, let's see if I can do this from one end to the other. Nice. And we really recommend getting one of these uh, peelers that uh, does the, what do you call it, julianning? Yes. Uh, it's yeah. just so much it makes simpler it so much than easier. doing it, you know, by hand. Unless you're like a master chef. Slicer, dicer. Dicer, yeah. This is going to be way easier. All right, so we've got our beautifully julienned vegetables. And we have our nori. Let's move this guy over a little bit. And we have the cream cheese. We have the cream cheese, which we are not going to overdo because I think that was what our problem was last time we did it. Our yeah, food, we had too because much. we're using half a sheet here, uh, they, don't, they don't take a lot of, uh, of material in them. No, but you want to be able to taste the flavor. There is no doubt, right. you know, that you want to be able to give it, give it a good flavor. Now, what is your theory on, on the shiny side and the not shiny side? I don't think there's a difference, but I usually do the, um, the rice on the rougher side just because it's Because okay. it's easy. rougher. Yeah. And it sticks better. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's my... That, that's not a bad uh, theory. I'm sure that there is some mystical... Uh, story behind which side you use if you're a real sushi master. I know. Um, I'm going to just get some water. All right. Now, this water is essential to not... <laughs> to not have, you know, clumpy yeah. rice hands. Right. And this is some sushi rice that I've had for um, a little while, so it's very sticky. Can you see it? Yep. It's very sticky. It's not the same one we made, but... No, nope, um... no. Nope. It's sticky, um, but it's... Uh, just fine for what we're going to use it for today. And we're going to put a link there to the uh, video on how to make this sushi rice. And it's super easy and, um, you know, it comes out perfect every time. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, honestly, that's... In fact, my, my, my daughter, by the mm -hmm. way, I used to make a, like, regular rice or, like, um, curried rice. And she now insists on this rice for some reason. She oh, really yeah. likes it. Do you think it's the uh, seasoning, uh, the vinegar and the seasoning? I think so, and the sugar and the salt and the guy. It's just, it's yeah. just, yeah, I it just tastes good. I can smell the seasoning in it, the seasoned rice vinegar. So we basically created a nice layer of Do rice. Do I have enough? I know I'm not as good as at it as you are. It's, it's good. It's you okay. Know, everything um, seems to work at the end. So now this is the this is how we're going to get the rice on the outside of the sushi roll. Flip it we're over. We're going to turn it over. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our ingredients in here. 
So we have a little bit of uh, cream cheese, and it doesn't, you can, if you want to use flavored cream cheese, go for it. I mean, who far be it from me, but honestly, from for this recipe, you've got so much flavoring in the nori, you've got your rice is flavored, you've got your veggies. I don't really think you need to flavor your cream cheese. I don't think so either. I think the cream cheese by itself has a lot of flavor. You know what I did yesterday? I put some cream cheese on pizza. Because I wanted you to had it. You had it. You wanted to see what I, it would do. I wanted to see how it tastes on pizza. And, and you know what? It tasted wonderful. It wasn't really. Yep. Ooh. It, actually, I think of, it's something I'm going to add. It's a keeper? Yep. Okay. Very interesting. It was uh, kind of melty and it, it tasted, it really... Did, did you use other cheese as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just put it like a few gulps okay. of, of, of cream cheese and it basically just turned out nice. So this is uh, how we put the... Um, the veggies on top of the cream cheese. And you don't overstuff it. Just, you know, go lean. Well, remember you're rolling it up, so you're getting that uh, thickness. By the time you roll this a couple of times, uh, you will... So first things first, you roll it over. Okay. And then you roll it throughout. We did the first roll, and then we rolled it throughout, and this is how it came out. And now all you need to do is, what? Put my sesame seed on it. Put the sesame seed, right. Nice. Look at how professional this looks. You're funny. Ah, it looks awesome. All right. Somebody's going to have some. So we've just got our sesame seed kind of on the whole thing there. Yay. Okay. Cutting time. Yep. Sharp knife, sharp knife. Let's see if I have one. Maybe I do. I'll look in the drawer. What do All you right. think? This is not my expertise. You want to do half first? Sure. And half. The way I do it, I usually, oh, I, okay. I, I usually, I usually wiggle it a little you so, it? so it doesn't okay. smush it. Wiggle. Wiggle. I don't know. Uh, maybe yeah, it's not. It's not as the sharp. The knife isn't sharp as, it, as as sharp as it should be. Right. You are correct. You should have should have reached for the other knife. Anyway, this is the concept. And look, look how nice they look like here. There we go. That one's a little bit better. So this is a really easy way to make sushi rolls at home, and everybody seems to go crazy about them, right? Right. All right, so what do you do after this, uh, or right now, actually? You give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And? Subscribe. There you go. And uh, watch us in the next video. Yes, All actually, right. let's eat. <laughs>